So in this help video we're going to look at doing one way and over using SPSS. We're going to follow the instructions in chapter 9 of the textbook and uh, we're going to use the example data from that chapter on nitrogen levels in reeds at three different sites. I've got, here's the data file that we're going to use. You can either make this yourself, and there's a separate help video on making data sets, entering data into SPSS, and a help video to go with it, or you can download the pre-prepared data set from the online resource centre. Before we get into the analysis, let's just uh, explore the data set for a moment. We've got, uh, it's on data view, and it shows us our in independent variable down here, the site, one, two, and three, and our dependent variable nitrogen in, in this column next door to it. Very important in SPSS to enter your data in this way to do uh, an ANOVA and it's where 99% of the errors occur uh, is people not putting the data in, in this format. We have, we're on, we've got the value labels on here. Uh, remember it's a good idea in SPSS to enter numbers and, uh, and give them value labels. If we want to see the number codes behind those labels we switch to, uh, so that's view, variable labels, on or off. Uh, and uh, it, you can switch to variable view and have a look what's there. And uh, again, you can see your value labels here for the independent variable 1, site 1, 2, site 2, and 3, site 3. The other thing to double check here is what the roles are assigned. They're assigned at, uh, appropriately here for site is um, the independent variable and uh, uh, nitrogen is the dependent variable and so those are the appropriate terms there. I'm just going to reset those both to none because um, it makes uh, us do a little bit more work on SPSS if we set them to none uh, and it's good just to make check that you can do it. Um, it won't affect the outcome at all. Okay, let's go back to data view and start the analysis. Uh, so analyze, compare means, one way ANOVER. When it comes up with you, it'll look like this. So you have the variables over here. You want to put site as a factor or an independent variable. And nitrogen content is your dependent variable. So it goes in the dependent list. And we're all ready. So you click OK. And you get your one-way um, and over table, your degrees of freedom, your F statistic, and your p-value. Uh, and more detail on that uh, is in the, in, in, in the uh, chapter 9 in the book. And that's it. You've done an ANOVA using SPSS.